Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It's 8.30 on Friday morning. I am part way up. I've brushed my teeth and I've put a little bit of eye makeup on and I've brought my clothes in from the bathroom because when I take them off to have my shower, I hang them up on the peg. Um, so I've got my jeans and my bra from yesterday. But I do need to find and my jumpers down here which I'm going to wear again, but I do need to find a new t-shirt. Um, so I need to hoover upstairs. I ideally need to do some dusting up here as well. It's been neglected. I probably need to dust downstairs as well because I haven't done that since I put the Christmas decorations away. So there's lots of little housey work things that I need to do at some point this morning. Um, and I want to have some Zen time. It's the first time I've had the house to myself since before Christmas. So it means I can have my Zen times and I haven't done that in two and a half weeks, something like that. So I'm going to go and have some Zen time. Um, and then this afternoon, I'm going to go and see my friend for a cup of tea. She's invited me over and I haven't seen her in probably a year, even though she lives right by my parents. But she used to live in the village and then she moved away. Um, and even though she's not very far away, we've had lockdowns and various other things. And she works and she usually works even on a Friday, like yeah, so even on a Friday. Not everyone has Fridays off, I guess. But she works Fridays. And of course, that's my day off. Um, but she messaged me and said, are you free Friday afternoon? Um, and then I'm going to pick Kenzie up from school and um, come home. And I think we're just going to have a bit of a relaxed evening. Uh, Lee and Brendan are going for their booster jabs, all being well, straight from work this evening. And then they're bringing pizza home. I am going to be naughty and maybe have two slices of pizza. Um, they're not going to be gluten free. <sighs> or maybe I should just be good. I don't know. I'm still in that craving the stuff that I shouldn't have because I had a few bits over Christmas. Do you know, it's, it's, I guess, what smokers would have if they had a cigarette after not smoking for a long time or that kind of thing. You sort of get this taste for the stuff that you shouldn't have again. I don't know. I'll see how I'm feeling later. We'll see. The weights, my weight is right back up again. But I know that I can get rid of it. But I knew it would happen. And I'm I'm feeling puffy and what have you. I notice it on my face more. Um, but I get puffy from eating the things I shouldn't. So too much sugar, too much wheat. Anyway, I'm going to just watch a few YouTube videos. I might go and make myself a nice little cup of tea. I'll bring the hoover up, ready to do the hoovering. And um, I think I might get back into bed for half an hour and enjoy a lay-in and peace and quiet before I start doing stuff. I've decided to stay in my PJs for a little while um, while I do things around the house. And then I'll put some clothes on because, quite honestly, they're cosy and comfy. It's not as frozen, I don't think. There doesn't seem to be the frost outside that there was yesterday, but I will show you the conservatory roof because it looks amazing, so come with me. Don't you just think nature is utterly amazing and artistic? How pretty. Like feathers or ferns. It's just so pretty. I love it. That was nature's gift this morning to me, to wake up and see this beautiful piece of artwork made by nature on my roof. So thank you, nature. So my first little job is to dust this and everything else in the room. <laughs>
just had some zen time and I totally trashed it. Totally trashed it. I probably shouldn't try and film myself having some zen time when I haven't had it for like two and a half weeks, three weeks. Because, and I can't tell you the route completely that my thought process went down, but I derailed my, I totally derailed my zen time because the camera is in the background. And so in my head with the camera in the background, I started thinking about whether or not people could actually fully zen out if they were being filmed or watched by other people, which made me think about YouTubers who film themselves doing their yoga and their zen and can they actually completely cut themselves off from the fact that they are filming themselves or are they constantly aware of making sure it looks right or is it real is what I'm saying do they properly zen out and do what they're doing for the meditation if they're filming it um, or are they shots that are set up for our benefit when we watch okay that's when it all went wrong. The rabbit hole opened up and it made me think about people, I'm trying to do this in a family friendly way, people that perform for the camera for a certain line of business, okay, and how they must have to zone out the amount of people that are around them watching them, filming them and what have you, or not. Is that part of what helps them to perform for the camera is the fact that there are many people around. Which then took me down another shoot of the rabbit hole in, well, what about people that watch other people? And that's where I'm going to stop. Because from that point on, it gets very, very unsuitable for camera situation. My thought process totally went down this rabbit hole all because I started thinking about whether or not people can truly be in the zone, whatever that zone might be, and, and be an honest, in an honest, true place of zen or other stuff if they're being filmed. And in the end, I ended up in fits of laughter going, what? am I doing? Why did my brain go down here when I'm staring at a camera trying to zen out? And I had to put the camera down, rezone myself, and then film the actual stuff as setup shots for you. I wish I could tell you the whole path, but believe me, you don't need to know. <laughs> so I'm not really sure the zen worked quite as I had planned. Um, never mind. Onwards and upwards with the day, I say. Let's move forwards. It's 12 o'clock. I have hoovered all of my stairs, which you can't see because it's behind you, but I've done it. I've hoovered all of it upstairs. I have uh, dusted most of my bedroom. I've dusted the living room. I've gone around the skirting boards with the hoover nozzle dusted those so things are looking good physically looking good um one of the downsides of this whole 3d printer situation in our house is the amount of plastic waste which as you know i'm not huge on plastic and waste um brendan does want for his birthday one of these recycling and respooling machines so he's collecting up all the waste material that is support material so that he can melt it down and reuse it and re-spoil it, spool it, not spoil it, re-spool it. Um, so that's something we're thinking about for his birthday. Um, but when he's working on his bits, I keep finding bits of plastic that have pinged off. It's all up my stairs. It's randomly stuck to your sock. It's like, Brendan, please clear up your plastic. So even though he picks up the big bits, it's the little bits that are just literary. They fall out of the loft hatch and scatter themselves around my hall floor way upstairs, hallway floor upstairs. I'm having real issues creating understandable words and forming sentences. Clearly haven't got my uh, piece of fluorite with me, have I? No, I have not. It's upstairs by my bed. Right, I need to go and see my lovely friend Sharon, who I haven't seen 
for so long and I'm really looking forward to catching up with her. Then I'll pick Kenzie up from school and I'll see what else the day brings. I think today is going to be mainly quite a chitty chatty vlog. Don't forget, you're meant to be keeping your eyes open for my little mini Spog. Mini Spog. Um, and David from Desmond's Donders, I think he's created a little hashtag, which is hashtag mini Spog. Um, <laughs> so thank you for that. And uh, yeah, if you want to hashtag mini Spog and tell me where you think mini Spog is, that makes it easier for me to find all of those um, answers. There's no prize. It's just for fun. Anyway, I'm going to go. Oh, oh, car keys. Need car keys. I have car keys. I'm going to go get in big Spog now because I'm slightly too large for mini Spog. Kenzie's on the hot chocolate making. It is so cold. We are so cold. So he's got the hot chocolate, which is just dark chocolate flakes that came in this really lovely gift that Virginia gave me for Christmas. And we've got marshmallows to go on the top. Oh, Kenzie, I counted that wrong. I've eaten one of my marshmallows. Oh, no. No, there it is. I had a marshmallow because it was an extra one. Um, yeah, so you're on you're on hot chocolate duty, aren't you, to warm us up? Because mm -hmm. it's so cold. They're just dark chocolate flakes. Nice? Mm. Yummy, yummy. Soon to be in my tummy. Good early evening, good late afternoon, good somewhere in the middle. It's about half past five. Um, so it's not quite evening, not quite the end of the afternoon. Um, I've just been in the bath watching this very bizarre program. It's something along the lines of 40 kids by a father with 40 kids or something. And it follows the lives of a couple, well, three guys who have, who are basically prolific procreators. Um, they go around sowing their seed and one guy is in his 60s and he's got 40 children not all of them have anything to do with him he's an alcoholic and has had those kids removed over the years his oldest is 20 something I think and his youngest is three with the woman he's currently with um, there's one guy who actually seems to provide for his kids and have something to do with all of his kids but the others are just awful but the one thread that seems to run through these guys is they are not lookers they're heavy drinkers heavy smokers two of them don't seem to work and they've just got zero personality there's nothing redeeming about them and that leads me to think how on earth have they procreated so many times? How did they end up with 40? How did this one guy end up with 40 babies? And I've, I've known guys in my time who are like this, who are not lookers, who are not even enjoyable to spend time with. They have very inappropriate humour and stuff. And yet they... Um, they seem to pull on a regular basis and I'm just, I have no idea how they do it. I'm sure the, the, like, the likes of you and I, I'm so glad I'm not single because I wouldn't know where to start. I could not pull if I tried. My, I, I have no skills in that area. I wasn't very good at it when I was single and I would be worse at it now because I'm out of practice for one. <laughs> But I just, I wouldn't know where to start. Um, and I'm sure people like you and I, Joe, average, you know, average looking, average uh, personality. I, I just think we, we would never pull on that level. I mean, maybe we don't try to. Maybe that's what it is. We're not interested in that. We look for relationships with meaning and what have you. So maybe that's the difference. I don't know. But it just amazes me how this happens, how these guys do it, 
how how they do it i have no idea anyway i just thought i'd share that with you because it was something a bit weird that i found while i was perusing youtube um lee and brendan are on their way back they've just had their pfizer jabs their booster jabs so they're going to be fully boosted um they're going to bring dinner home with them and i've got a chilled weekend coming up i haven't really got anything booked we've got jasper's birthday coming up which will be really lovely so i'm looking forward to that that will be sunday at some point and i had such a lovely afternoon with my friend um and we're going to try and do it we say this we can try and do it more regularly but we are going to try and do it like on fridays when she's not working because every other friday she finishes at lunchtime and Fridays when I'm not away or doing my Thames walk, which starts in a couple of weeks time with Jackie. So we're going to try and organise, excuse me, some walks together, uh, not some walks, some get togethers and just make sure we get together. Because we just talked solidly for two and a half hours and then I suddenly realised all the time I was like, I've got to go get Kenzie. Um, and we could have carried on talking all day and all evening very easily. Um, I've missed her. I have missed her. It's silly, isn't it? We have such good friends and I'm rubbish at contact with people. Um, I don't know why. I'm just really bad at it. And I apologise if you're one of those people out there that I'm really bad at keeping contact with. It's not personal. I'm just so bad at it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been quite a me heavy vlog today. Lots of me chatting to the camera. I hope that's okay. Um, Thank you very much for watching. I will see you all tomorrow.